How e-voting guarantees voting secrecy. As usual, Anna has received her election and voting documents and her voting card by mail. There are various codes in the documents that she needs for electronic voting. Using the start voting key as she has received, Anna now logs into the e-voting system. The system recognises only her start voting key, which was assigned to her by the canton. Her identity remains anonymous. Anna votes, seals her vote and submits it. As with postal voting, the ballot is sealed in an envelope. In other words, the data is encrypted. The information is sent to the server in encrypted form, along with an anonymized voting card, in this case, the digital signature. This so-called end-to-end encryption ensures that the vote is encrypted on the voter's device. No person or organization can decrypt the vote inside the electronic ballot box or on its way to the ballot box. The vote cannot be decrypted on the server. The ballot is separated from the voting card and therefore from the voter's identity, which has already been anonymized. This makes it impossible to associate the votes with a specific person. The votes that have been cast remain encrypted during this process. In the second stage, the ballots are mixed. This makes it impossible to identify individuals from the order in which the votes were cast. On election day, the Electoral Commission opens the electronic ballot box on a computer without internet connection using a special multi-component shared key. Only then are the ballots decrypted and counted. As Anna's ballot is not linked to her identity, the Electoral Commission is unable to identify who has voted but able to determine that the ballot is valid. As a result, voting secrecy is guaranteed and duplicates or invalid votes are impossible.